You may have heard me mention before that I've been taking an online school of ministry. And just this week, my class and I started a new quarter on inner healing. And one of the first principles that we learned or that we discussed together was that any tool or anything that we use to help in the process of inner healing is, we say, is only effective in the measure that it leads the person to Jesus, that it leads ourselves or anyone we will be working with to Jesus because it opens their heart to, to Jesus, the divine physician, that it's not a tool for itself. And it's a principle that is shown throughout the gospel as well, that Jesus uses signs and wonders. He uses different things, but only as a means to bring other people to himself and to the Father. That I mean, even him himself, he says, is the way to the Father. And he's speaking today to these Pharisees who want to stone him for blasphemy, for claiming that he is the Son of God. The funny thing is, is that he really is the Son of God, but they want to stone him for that. And so Jesus implores them then, he says, well, what are the works that I've done that make you want to stone me? But if you don't believe in me, at least believe in the works. See that they are the works of the Father. These are things that the Pharisees should know because they know the scriptures to say, these are those works. This is someone who is doing something that at least is not, is, is good and not bad. So too for us, I think that oftentimes we get enamored with the gifts of God and not with God himself. That sometimes we see the things that we do at church or we see the things that in life as, as all goods in themselves, forgetting that it's God who is the giver of every good gift. St. Augustine is famous for saying that we are all like brides who on their wedding morning get up and look at the, their ring. They stare at their ring. Meaning that the real gift is is the marriage, is the husband, is that new covenantal relationship, not the ring that was given. You know, God wants us always to be rooted in him, to everything that he does for us is geared toward a relationship with him. I'm just amazed and baffled about how humble God is and how patient and creative he is in bringing us to him. He's okay to allow other people to do great works and miracles. He's okay to, to do things so that people might be drawn to him. Everything that we do in this life, anything that is good is to bring us closer to Jesus. We pray today that the Lord will help us to focus more on him than on any of the gifts that he's given us, that we might see that the giver is always greater than the gift and that we might come to Jesus and find salvation through him, the Son of God.